hello everyone so today i am going to implement this uh, simple ripple effect that you see after uh, on the place where the raindrop hit the ground so you already have we have already worked on this rain particle and also this uh, splash effect and additionally i'm going to add the ripple this ring around the splash just to make it more uh, make it look better okay so i have uh, created this texture it is just a white ring like texture and also i have this uh, normal map this is something i downloaded from the internet just search ripple normal map triple normal map so you will find something and i have already imported it and the next thing is uh, we need to create a material so let's drag and drop some plane here just for testing and if i drag and drop this ripple opacity texture it will automatically create this ripple opacity map material for me M ripple. <coughs> it's just a shortcut to create a material. Now here I'll change this material into a translucent and I'll connect opacity like this and let's change the preview to a play so sorry for the opacity we need to connect alpha right now this is what we get and let's drag and drop the normal map also but we don't have normal map input here uh, so in order to enable normal map input here under lighting mode we can use mm, mm, polymetric direction okay we can use that and then i can connect the normal map so it will have the normal effect also apply and now we have this simple ripple effect but it doesn't look like a ripple because in order to make it look like a ripple it has to expand and vanish sort of fade out so now i'll delete this one and let's open the rain Niagara effect so here this what uh, this splash is appearing on the place where this rain drop hit the ground and on those places this splash appears so similarly if I duplicate it the splash using control d i'll name this as a as ripple and so in the same way the splash appears in place of the drop a ripple can appear if i use instead of this splash if i use this uh, ripple material so so I have already shown you how to uh, get the collision event and how to spawn the ripple in place where the collision happens. I have already shown those steps. So I am not going to explain them again. Oh, now you already can see these ripples here. So if I disable this flash and compile now you are seeing the ripples but they are vertical that's not the way they has to be they should be they should be horizontal so um, in the in here i'll set the facing mode to custom facing vector and here i'll add facing sprite facing and alignment module 
and here I'll set sprite facing to Z1. Now you see the ripples are spawned horizontally. Okay, but you don't see that they are they are not sort of vanishing, not fading out. So we should let's make them larger and this uh, scale curve let's use something like this okay better uh, but they're not necessary to slow down in the end so maybe a linear curve right but they're still vanishing so this is scale color mm, oh wait here i'm not using the particle color so let's use a particle color node and multiply the base color with the this texture color so we can affect the color of the particle as well and also this alpha let's multiply with this alpha so we can do fade in fade out using so we can control the opacity of the <coughs> particle right now uh, this should affect these things these uh, curves e yeah but they are too dark so maybe we need to have a shape like this mm -hmm. the ripple is there it's not visible enough that's the initial color oh it's it should be white yeah now it's visible mm, not enough How to make it more visible? Maybe a shape like this. No. But we can make this water and this one more. That seems better actually. Also, if I make it two, now it increases the visibility. All right. So I think the visibility of the ripple is now good enough. Uh, if you want, we can actually increase it further, like this. And now, if I enable the splash along with that, it should be complete. See? Okay. Oh, one more thing. Maybe after the splash, the ripple should be visible a bit longer. So, how about. Point five to point seven lifetime. Mm. 
Okay. Right. I think I am happy with this result. And I am going to stop this episode right here. So if I play the game. That's the final result. So as always, file files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon blog. See you in another episode. Goodbye.